So it also holds for the heat for a while. Yes. We didn't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah. And I'm Max. And you guys are inside our Brooklyn kitchen. I think we chose this neighborhood kind of randomly. We both moved from the city, different neighborhoods in the city when we moved in together, and we just wanted some kind of new adventure for That's us to ours. take. That's ours. That's yeah. ours. And it's been great. I mean, this has really become our home. And Brooklyn was just super cool. Which is why we fit in so well. <laughs> uh. We have lived in this apartment for about four years. Rarely do you find a window over the sink. That is such a suburban thing. Right. So the mm -hmm. outdoor space is why we picked this apartment. I loved it from the first point I came in here because I grew up in Iowa where you had yards and you didn't live on top of each other. And so this apartment, when we saw this outdoor space, uh, it just felt like we kind of had a city yard. I just think kitchens are the warmest part of a home. I, I would say yes, this is kind of the heart of our of our lives right now. Plus it's a the kids small are, little heart, but it's a strong little, beating yes, heart. Yes, yes. Today we're making Sarah's game day chili. I just added the Sarah to the front. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing we love about this chili is our kids are semi-obsessed with sweet potatoes, but I also love squash. And this specific recipe has both of those. So for this recipe, you'll need green and red bell pepper yellow onion, grass-fed ground beef, red pepper flakes and cumin, garlic cloves, sweet potato, butternut squash, diced tomatoes and tomato sauce, chicken broth, and fresh cilantro and jalapeno. Okay, Max. Can we start now? Yes. Let's, Let's get cooking. I put my sous chef, AKA my husband, to work cutting the garnishes. And I am gonna start to put my oil in the pan over here. And then I'm gonna have you, Max, hand me the peppers and the onion. Good job chopping, Max. Now we're gonna be putting in the onion. Okay, and we love our cast iron pans because there's, Max, why do we like these so much? Because cast iron heats evenly and it gets very hot. It's so pretty in here. It's like Christmas in here. Look at all the color. So we're gonna cook this three to five minutes until it's translucent. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna cook it three to five minutes until it's translucent. Nailed it. Okay, we, we're adding the garlic right now. And this is when it gets fun for me because I love the smell of the garlic and the onion doing a little dance in my pan. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, you smell it? I do smell it, it smells love great. That. And I can never chop the onions because uh, I'm a crier, so I do have onion goggles. Can you just put those on? The onion you, goggles? You look so cute in them. I do, right? Yeah. This is how I normally look in here. So hot. Ground beef, boo. We absolutely only eat grass-fed beef. Grass-fed. The other thing I love to do when I make this chili is I, um, I store it in mason jars, I freeze it, because oftentimes the kids will be eating earlier and sometimes different food than we do, so I can pull it out in servings during the week when the week is rushed and we barely have any time, and I can eat it. Okay, so I just am adding the cumin, and now I'm adding a lot of red pepper flakes because we like it hot. It's so pretty. Do you want to season the salt and pepper? Sure. How much do we need? I don't know, you like a lot of salt. I do like a lot of salt, so I'm just gonna keep going. We have the foundation established, now we get to the fun stuff. We've got our butternut squash and our sweet potato. Oops. That's all right. We won't use that piece today. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have the tomato. Tomatoes. This is the sauce we're adding right now. And then you've got the diced tomatoes right now. This is a paleo recipe, so there's no added sugars. These are all very clean ingredients. Chicken broth? Chicken broth. <laughs> is this our homemade chicken broth? No, this is it's not. Happening. Well, yes, it would be. On our, our terrace, we like to grow our own tomatoes, and we dream of a day where we have a full garden, because that would be the coolest thing ever. And you want these sweet potatoes and the squash to soften. You want them to kind of, they're kind of replacing the traditional bean in the chili, so you want it to kind of be the chewy part. So I'm just stirring all this up, and then I'm gonna bring this to a simmer and leave it. I'm gonna put the lid on, and now you just leave it for 30 minutes. Max, how are you doing over there with your chopping? Doing good, working oh. on the jalapeno now. Cilantro's done. Because we'd like to add a little bite to the top at the end, and if you like cheese, sometimes we'll sprinkle cheese on there. 
I mean, I tend to leave it off, but it also adds a delicious flavor to Sarah's game day chili. 30 minutes is up, so now it's time for the fun part. We get to eat. Right. Okay. Look at how pretty it is. Looks great. You want a garnish? Yeah. It's your cilantro. You want some Hit me with the chilies? jalapeno. Yeah. Maybe a few extra for me. Yeah. I like mine hot. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> Small bites. That is good and that is spicy. Did you get the pepper? I did. Oh, and my mouth's sweating. In a good way. This is great for game day. You gotta try this at home. Agreed. Right? Yeah. Is it endorsed? It's endorsed, fully endorsed by the Schifrin household. <laughs> and Haynes. Schifrin. Haynes.